<laughs> it is once again the spookiest time of the year. It's a happy Halloween version. Uh, these are the small versions of the Halloween Myth Girls, all in their Halloween costumes. I think every year they stick with these ones. I don't think they have new ones every year, but I definitely remember this being their like first and second year Halloween special things. And today we're going to take a look at all five of them. So, these are kind of plushies, I think, but not exactly, because as we can see on the back, they've got a stand. So they're a little bit like a um, Nendroid, almost. Uh, and on the top there, it does show this is the whole collection. It is weird, it's called the Hololive Collection, which is a little bit vague, because y you'd think that maybe it'd be like the Hololive EN Collection or something, because I don't know if they've done this for the other um, Hololive members of, you know, JP and ID and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll take a look at each one Individually, I don't really need to introduce these. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're aware of the Hollow Live uh, Myth Girls are anyway. But we've got Mori in her bloody nurse outfit. I'm going to open them one at a time, so I'm going to move these to the back. We're going to do them in the order uh, of the top here. So I'm going to go and cut open this box and we'll take a look inside. So for those of you interested, the box <laughs> comes with this strange uh, triangle of cardboard. And inside is the girl herself, and inside this is Mori and her stand. Uh, also, I'm an idiot. I don't know why I thought this was a plushie. I think I maybe read the listing for like a different item when I pre-ordered these. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, assemble this and then put her on the stand. And here she is, fully assembled. So, I'm not going to lie, this wasn't the best experience, I'll explain in a second, but... We'll take a quick look at uh, 360 view. Now, I'm being very careful because um, this was not the easiest stand to put in. For some reason, her like veil um, didn't line up perfectly with the hole in her hair. So I had to kind of angle it. And as you can see here, the like the plastic is close to breaking, I would say. Um, <laughs> So I'm glad I managed to get it in. Uh, it's fairly secure, I think. Now, her head does move as well. I'll kind of, you know, so you can put it at a different angle. I'm not going to mess around much with Mori, though, because I don't want her coming off of this stand. So I'm going to put her to the side. I really like the detailing and stuff. These were fairly priced, I want to say. They came to... Something like 10 or 12 pounds each, which... Uh, actually, no, it might have been a little bit under, I think, actually. It was maybe 10 pounds, maybe a little under. Um, and yeah, honestly, very impressed. They are, like, quite small, but I think the detailing is great on them. And especially the fact that they're not actually plushies, which for some reason I thought they were. I still don't understand. Um, actually, you know what? She looks more like small Mori than the box does. The box, like, her, her face is a little bit round and kind of like, you know, it, uh, they looks a bit plushy-esque, but she looks more accurate, so I don't know. I'm kind of digging that. Anyway, it is everybody's favourite chicken phoenix. It's uh, Takanashi Kiara. Uh, so she's dressed kind of it, Kiara's outfit, of all five of them, is the one I was never fully sure about. Like, it looks like a dress, basically, a kind of, like, gothic dress. She's got a bit of, like, blood. Is she a vampire? I guess maybe she's kind of a vampire, maybe? Um, the side is a generic thing. Oh, actually, no. I thought that was um, Maury's maid uh, cap. Uh, sorry, nurse cap, but it wasn't. Yeah, it's kind of like got a generic thing. It goes in the back of the head, obviously. Right, I'm going to go open this up. And there you go. Kiara is finished. So, I can confirm she was a bit easier to put on the stand. It's still a bit of a tight fit because it's kind of like a ball on the end of each, uh, each part. So, like, you do have to use quite a bit of force. But once it's in, it feels fairly secure. But, again, I'm not going to move her all that much. Um... 
After looking at her outfit uh, in this way, it is a lot more obvious that she is a vampire, obviously, because we can see the cute little bat on the side there. I am losing focus somehow. There you go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, honestly, th this goes really well together. Um, you know, she's got very orangey hair anyway. Orange and black is a very Halloween-y kind of colour. Yeah, I like it. It's a little bit more subtle. Um, it's not as obvious, but it's definitely grown on me. When I pre-ordered these, I was like, yeah, well, I'll get the five anyway. But, you know, Kiara's I thought was the weakest, but I've... I don't know, I've come around to it. I, I think it looks quite cute now. On to the third one. And uh, if you guys have watched my channel for long enough, you'll know I am a Takodachi. I, uh, I love Ina. And uh, so this is Inani, Ninomai Inani, uh, just in case you are unaware of all of these girls somehow. Well, kudos for sitting through like 10 minutes of this if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so this is her mad professor outfit. I love it. It's so cool. I love the swoody glasses and the lab coat and everything. Let's open her up. And here she is. And man, I am, I am thoroughly impressed with this one. So... Of all of them, I think Inaz is definitely the most intricate outfit. I mean, Kiara definitely had, you know, detailing and stuff. Obviously, Mori did as well with all the blood splatters and stuff. But I'm really impressed with this. Like, the glasses are really well done. Her little tiara thing. And even, like, the little pens in her pockets. I tried to zoom in a little bit. But, like, this is... This is really good. I... I'm thoroughly impressed with this. Now, obviously, I am a little bit biased because she is my Oshi. But, yeah, this this is perfect. This is, like, exactly what I would wish for. Um, I can't remember. I want to say maybe there were plushies of the Halloween small girls years ago. I can't remember, though. Maybe they weren't. But uh, I'm thoroughly glad that I now own Smallina in her Halloween costume. I might look into, I don't know what the aftermarket is for Volume 1 of these, because um, Hololive Collection 1 is just the small girls, obviously in their regular small versions. I am tempted to maybe have a look for small Ina, because, uh, you know, just to add to the Ina shrine. But yeah, this, thoroughly impressed. Very, very, uh, very happy with this. On to arguably the uh, cutest one uh, both, I guess, member of EN Myth and also cutest outfit, and that is Gaurgura in her Dino Gura outfit. It's it is so perfect. It's so cute. Uh, the sides don't have anything different. Uh, the front does show she is four out of five. Uh, right, I'm gonna go open this up. All right, I'm back. So, <laughs> hands down, this was the worst one to do. Uh, also, a little little uh, bonus thing there. There is red uh, inside of the mouth of the dinosaur, which is quite nice. Or the dinosaur costume, rather. So we'll take a quick look. I'm gonna once again move. I'm gonna move the other girls. Well, there you go. That's a lot easier. So we'll take a look around. So I do love as well that they've got the eyes of the costume. The kind of uh, you know, and her little claws down there, uh, which are very cute. Now. This was a particularly difficult one, as you can see, there's like a few stress marks on this, because the angle for the sort of entrance of the stand is like angled down, so cause what I've been doing is like putting them face down, you can put a bit of pressure to put the um, stand in, but that one's kind of like, y you can't, uh, so I had to use the old hairdryer trick, which is put on a low setting, blast that for like 30 seconds and the plastic gets slightly more pliable and it did eventually work but honestly I'm loving like the little details and stuff all of the um the ridges I guess they're called and underneath she does have the kind of uh belly color of the of the costume honestly very cute uh, I'm very glad I got this I think it was the second birthday merch had the Dinosaur Gura plushie that I still to my to this day kick myself for not pre-ordering. It was adorable, so I'm glad I do finally own her in this form in some way. 
And finally, we have everyone's favourite time travelling detective, Watson Amelia. Um, this this is a slightly sad um, way to end the video in a way, I guess, because um, I'll have set this to come out on October the 1st. I am filming it a day or two early. And October the 1st will be the first day after Amelia finishes her regular work with Hollow EN. It's kind of, she's not graduating, but she won't be streaming at all, apart from in collab events, I think it is. It's all very still up in the air, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, it really does feel like the end of an era, really, that... Uh, you know she's she's leaving. Um, anyway, let's let's not let's not dwell on uh, sad things too much, shall we? That's the box, just in case anyone is interested. She's the last one there, so I'm gonna crack this open and we'll take a look inside. And here she is in all her pumpkin witch glory. Um, I actually forgot she wore a witch's hat. Uh, I thought she just dressed as a pumpkin, but this is even cuter. So unfortunately, her hat does kind of block out the light a little bit, but I'll, I'll show you around anyway. You can still see enough. She's got a cute uh, buckle on the top of her hat there. It is a very cute uh, pumpkin outfit. I, I, do, uh, I do love how sort of slightly uh, sort of random but also very cute uh, it looks obviously it's got all the uh, details along with uh, a mark oh I think it's kind of like a stitch design or something kind of to make it look like uh, it's a fake pumpkin or something maybe I don't know but Regardless, that is really cute. She's got a little uh, hair, a uh, pumpkin headband as well. Hairband, sorry, not headband. So, that is the fifth and final member. Now to bring all of them out. And there you go. That is all five of the Halloween myth spooky girls. Honestly, I really like these statues. They, they are a little bit of a pain. I'll be honest, the stands could do with being a little bit better. Or maybe, and I don't know how easy that would have been, but like maybe they could have had one of those stands where like you put a foot on the bottom, but uh, they are chibi, so I guess this is the best way to hold them up. They are, they do feel a little bit precarious, so they, if you are going to get these, you know, do be prepared for a little bit of patience. Uh, but honestly, really, really thoroughly impressed with all the sculpting and everything. These will make a fine addition to my Hololive shelf. In terms of their availability, I'm guessing they're still available. I pre-ordered them sometime, I think it's like the end of July, start of August. And they shipped at the end of September, so it was actually quite quick. And to keep an eye out for other sets as well, especially the EN girls. I'd love to own small versions of um, Promise, actually, are really cute, because they've got that slightly different style. Where instead of like that, their eyes are all like round and look like they've been drawn sort of hastily and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll definitely keep an eye on these. But these are really cool and a pretty decent price point as well. They're small, but I mean, they're small, so it's, it's fitting. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you own any of these or if you own C uh, Series 1 of the Hololive collection of just the small girls not in their Halloween outfits. And, of course, being as it's the spookiest month, Happy Halloween! Um, I know it's still early. As I said, it's October the 1st this is going out, so you've still got like 30 days and stuff. But still, uh, I might be doing other spooky videos, maybe? I don't actually have anything planned. I should... I should probably plan something. Uh, right, okay, cool. I'll let you go now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.